Hey there, YouTube family. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some Dollar Tree DIY videos. Um, actually, I was challenged by my sister to duplicate a piece, a centerpiece for fall that's from another store. And as you will see, it is extremely pricey, even on sale. So I hope I met the expectations. I hope you guys let me know in the comments below what you think. And also, again, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't so already. I am Vanessa and I love doing DIYs and all things dollar anything. So I hope you stick by and let me know what you think. Have a great one, guys. All right, so welcome to my DIYs for fall 2021. And we're gonna start off with these two glass jars that I bought from Dollar Tree, as well as the orange paint. And besides the orange paint, I went ahead and I picked up, well, actually had the brown on hand, but because I didn't want, didn't want a bright, bright orangey color, I also got a pack of these maple leaves as well. And I had some raffia on hand. And as you can see on top of the cover, I had a little piece of the little wood um, stemmy things that they had on hand. I haven't seen them in a while, but anyway. So the goal here is to paint the inside of this glass jar. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm just going to dump this paint inside of this jar. As well as some of the brown. And then I'm just going to turn it over and over again so that it would cover all of the inside of this jar. Now, disclosure guys, I will say this, I will never do this again because after the fact of making this video, I was having to add more paint. I was having to, uh, my wrist was hurting from twisting and turning this jar so that the paint would, but it would not adhere to the inside of that glass. I failed in cleaning it with alcohol. I failed in that I should have used chalk paint. So my recommendation guys is use chalk paint when you're using this glass. And number one though really is to make sure you take off any oils and use that with an alcohol pad and clean the surfaces really, really well. Anywho, enough of my ranting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover and I'm gonna just paint it in brown so that it can have more of that neutral color instead of having that silver just beam out and be so bright. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the second jar and it is a bit satisfying just watching the paint cover it all over but again it was a pain at the end so don't forget what i told you use alcohol swabs clean your surface and i suggest using chalk paint so let's go ahead and finish this one up i went ahead and grabbed as you can see that top already dried up this one's still on its way, but I got this little, I don't know what you call it. I want to call it a little stem thing. And I put a little bit of raffia, tied it right there on the top. We're going to go ahead and put some hot glue on there just to secure that raffia a little bit better. And after that, we're going to go ahead and glue it on the top of the jars cover. All right, we just press down and make sure that it adheres very well. You're gonna cut the raffia to how your liking is. And then I got some Spanish moss and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it around that stem a little bit just to kind of cover 
the top little bit and give a little bit more of a natural look. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and pick up the maple leaves that we uh, also picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and glue them around the stem on top of the Spanish moss. And again, guys, it's how you like it and how many leaves you want on there. But I really just focused on three of them, two of the green and that yellow orange on the top. So we're going to go ahead and glue them nicely on top of this cover. And then you start playing around saying, oh, maybe I should put this on it or maybe over here. And then I was like, eh, let's exit and just forget about that. So here you have it, guys. Here are the final product of these jars that are supposed to be looking pumpkiny, And with the maple leaves in the stem, the whole shebang, not too shabby. I think they're super duper cute. Very inexpensive to put in your home as decoration. I hope you like these. And off we go to our DIY number two. We're gonna go ahead and use this black ultra matte uh, spray paint and we're gonna spray paint over this uh, crafter square metal sign that I also picked up from Dollar Tree uh, that says thankful. And this is the DIY where I was challenged by my sister to remake, uh, make a dupe of as they say, uh, because the cost for this, as you will see in a minute, is out of control. So I said, let me do my very best here. And I was going to use this piece of wood, but it was too light. It was not going to hold down everything that I was going to be putting on it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that for something else. I decided to use two of these signs that are from Dollar Tree. And of course, we're not going to, you know, just let this slide by. We're going to go ahead and recycle this thankful sign. So we're going to go ahead and just open this up real quick. And we're going to remove the sign piece that has the thankful on it. Go ahead and just pick those up. And we're going to use our little handy tool here so we can scrape off and pull it off of the sign. So hopefully we can use it again somewhere. And after that is done, we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. But like I said, we can always use it again. And I'm going to go ahead and take off this hook because we're not going to need it. But what we are going to use again is the actual inside of it. So I have the other sign that says home. We're going to do the same thing and remove that off of there. We can always use that again. So I picked up also these copper wire LED lights so I can use it with some of the same batteries from Dollar Tree. And like I said, this I believe is everything Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it as the lighting for this centerpiece. And the battery pack fits perfect right there, nice and snug, so that it doesn't slide back and forth. So I went ahead and I extended it just to see what it was gonna be looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue both of these wood frames together so I can use it as the base for this centerpiece.
here we have the thankful sign look at that price 89.95 on sale by the way and that is what we're trying to get done so i picked up the sunflowers as well as those berries and the um the foam floral foam for the inside of the base so that we can go ahead and put the flowers in i went ahead and cut it in half so they can fit appropriately and not stick out too much. So here I started to struggle a little bit because I wasn't sure what I was going to do as the centerpiece, which on the original uh, centerpiece that I'm trying to duplicate, it does have one huge sunflower. I, this is what I had on hand. I didn't want to have to go out and get any, but I know Dollar Tree was carrying some huge sunflowers. If you have that, that's great. You can go ahead and use that instead. But I went ahead and kept playing around with it back and forth to decide what I was finally going to do. And of course, I picked up some of these um, leaves uh, that are on the stems itself and I just cut them down so I can go ahead and put them into the foam and keep it nice and sturdy. Let me tell you, cutting these wires are not fun, but here we go. Let me keep showing you what it is that I ended up doing. So once I decided what I was going to do for the centerpiece in the sense of the sunflowers and the pumpkins, I just go ahead and start cutting the stems of these florals so I can start inserting them all around and just work my way in outwards. And now we're going to go ahead and get that battery pack um, lights and we're going to go ahead and slip it in right there in the corner and cover it with the leaves. And then we're just going to intertwine through these leaves the lights so they can be hidden fairly well. And then of course I take out the sunflowers. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to use these flowers instead? <sighs> and then I decided to use this other sunflower I had, which is not yellow, but more orangey. And it was perfect. Or so I thought, but anyways, I can change my mind if I want to. So anyways, I went ahead and I started trying to fill in spots that were a bit empty looking where I could see the green of the foam. So these I also found at Dollar Tree. I you know I'm telling you, I think everything here was from Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, I went back, I got the yellow sunflower, whatever. Um, I went ahead and hot glued and just filled in any areas that I felt needed a little bit of coverage. And so far, so good. Looks like everything's covered. The lights are on. And nope, 
I feel like there's some more areas. So I just continue to glue on all over the place. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the little stands to hold up the thankful sign. So I got these two sticks. They're actually bamboo uh, sticks from Dollar Tree as well. And I painted them brown. And these signs come with little hooks on the back, so that really made it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to level out where it was. And I end up hot gluing, if you see right there, so I can kind of hide it from the back and I can put that sign just like the one that I'm trying to copy. Uh, at first, I put it up too, too high, and eventually I go back and I cut down the sticks a lot more so that it, the sign can be a little bit shorter and closer to the actual centerpiece itself. The good thing is you can always go back and touch up anywhere if needed with um, paint, uh, or even hot glue if you're missing or see any spots that are a little bit too loose. So always have to touch up before you give your final product up. And here you have the final product. I am in awe of myself. I mean, with all Dollar Tree products, I think it came out very, very nice and pretty close to that on sale $90 centerpiece that was from Pier 1. Um, here are some more easy bonus DIYs I did with some window clings real quick. Uh, you can go ahead and use that to decorate. And also uh, this pumpkin yard sign that they have at Dollar Tree. I just went ahead to update my wreath that I have in my dining room area by just taking off the stick from the back and hot gluing some twine and putting it over the bow, a little bit of raffi on the bow and ta-da, we have a quick and simple update for the season with that adorable pumpkin in the middle. So let's go on, on to DIY number three, which is a floral piece. I'm gonna actually use this for my um, tear tray that I have. And I found, of course, all these florals are also from Dollar Tree, as well as the foam inside. The bucket is not uh, the container itself. Uh, I got flowers one day from my niece, and I just went ahead, and because of the color being perfect for fall, I went ahead and used it. So, like I said, all of the florals are also from Dollar Tree, and... Just go ahead and play with it and see what it is that you like to do and what your style is. Of course, I love using Spanish moss, so I went ahead and placed that all around the bottom so we can fill in the areas very well. And here is the final, ta-da! I think it came out super, super cute. It has that whole fall vibe going to it. And I felt that it was a little blah at the bottom. So I ended up putting just a little bit of twine with a bow at it. And here we are at DIY number four. We're gonna do another floral piece. And we got these three little containers from Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and just glue all three together. Um, I will say sometimes these little containers are not going to like flush very well with one another because they are not exactly uh, alike. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get my antique wax color from Waverly and go ahead and cover all of the outside of these little wood containers as well as the inside part of where the handles are so you don't see it through so i'm going to start with my base i ended up getting these three orange flowers well actually one of the pumpkins came with that flower so it was perfect i have picked up those other two and i just started to fill in like i said you started from in and then go work your way outwards and just start filling in
So I got some raffia I had on hand and I went ahead and just cut little pieces. I scrunched it up really well within my hand so I can use that as filler in any of the areas that you can actually see the floral foam. And here you go, guys. I have another centerpiece that came out absolutely gorgeous, I think. And definitely worth putting on that dining room table. And our DIY number six, we are finally using these pumpkin uh, wreath forms that they are selling also at Dollar Tree. And of course, I'm going to use this to make another centerpiece. So this part is pretty tricky because we have to line them up good enough as close as possible because they're not going to be exact. So I want to go ahead and get twine and I'm going to make a knot and tie it really tight and then just go ahead and start going around and around and around until I got both of the wreath forms secured together and having the stem all covered with that twine. So now I need to make a base so I can have the wreath form stand up and not fall over. So I kept thinking of all these different ways of doing it and I decided to use these little blocks from Dollar Tree as well as that wood plank. And I glued down a little base so I can go ahead and put the pumpkin wreath forms right on there so that it will stay sturdy. And then I needed to put it on the outside so it can really have a good, strong foundation. So here you'll see me just go ahead and start hot gluing all over the place. But don't worry, you won't be able to see this at the end because it will be covered. So now we go ahead and get the foam. I cut it in half and I'm going to place it in the middle because that is where I'm going to be placing the flowers. We're going to go ahead and hot glue that really well and put it down above of those little blocks. The lamb's ear is from Walmart, but all of the other florals are from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead. I decided not to insert it in there like that. So I just went ahead and I tied those with floral wire. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the other florals that I got from Dollar Tree and go ahead and complete it by placing them into the floral foam.
And here we have it. I love, love, love the way that it came out. I also used um, one of the battery operated candles to put in the middle. And I think that just all the little details came out super duper adorable. And like I said, everything was from Dollar Tree except for the lamb's ear. Also, there's other options. I also did find from last year, I had that candle holder from Dollar Tree. Just put some twine on it and put the bow. But you can use anything you want. I just don't suggest, of course, a real candle. But I think it came out super duper cute. But I also wanted to share some of my refreshings from summer to fall decor, as I call it. I, I change these items every season. And this is what I changed it up to here on the windowsill of my kitchen sink. Just updating it for fall. And you'll see a lot of things from Dollar Tree, but also from Dollar General. And those are real pumpkins that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And as, as I shared before, uh, this is a candlestick and a frame from Dollar Tree as well as the window clings. And I change the window clings for every season or holiday. And as you can see, this tray is also from Dollar Tree. And these are pie and a cake pan from Dollar Tree that I ended up making my tear tray from. And there is the little floral decor that I created to use on top of my tear tray. And lastly, I just went ahead and threw some pumpkins in here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.